Hello guys, today I'm joined with Connor Maynard and Jack Maynard. Oh, sorry. Connor Maynard and Jack Maynard. You my live with us, how'd you get that wrong? No, it's just my little joke I throw in right at the middle too. Give what? a thumbs up if you like jokes. Great! <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing today is we're playing a game called Interrogation. In front of me, I have six envelopes, two from each of us. One envelope from each of us containing a truth, and the other envelope containing a lie. We're going to take turns being interrogated and the other two players have to try and determine whether we are telling a truth or whether we are telling a lie. Where am I partner? Where the hell is he? Sit Sam, down, sit down. Who the hell is this guy? Sam, like Tony got caught up on the old fucking uh, freeway. You got coffee? You yeah, got man, coffee? I'm you all good, man. Coffee? Could I get coffee? Get coffee! You fucking bitch, you, you don't get nothing! Mouth. Be careful, boy. Make sure you choose the right envelope over there, I'm fishy about this, man. Don't tell you apart, man. I sold a pair of my shoes to fund a gambling addiction. Are we, you expect us to believe that you could afford some fucking shoes? You ain't even wearing shoes right now! I mean, neither you and even Mike, but fuck you, you ain't wearing no shoes, okay? We live here! So do you. <laughs> <laughs> where the hell were you gambling at 16 years old? Where, where let you gamble? Online. Online? Did you fake your age? Yes. How much were the shoes? So like 40 pounds. <laughs> 40 pounds? What shoes were they? The Essex? I don't believe that shit, man, mate. Expensive. Hey, what you trying to say, man? <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> Why do people smoke that? Uh, did it look cool though? <laughs> did it look cool? You made a fake membership online to gamble on this thing. I used my dad's with his permission. You sold a pair of shoes to Casper to cover it. Yes, for thirty pounds. I was in debt for thirty pounds. I needed to get out of debt. For thirty pounds. Answer the That's question the roughly. Well, there's something wrong with that because you said 20 pounds, now you're saying 30. Y'all up in my face shouting at me, dog! I'm stressing out, alright? You think we your fucking dog? <laughs> <laughs> your dad let you gamble at the age of 16. Well, it was poker, so I mean. He taught you? My dad. Your dad taught you? Your dad just has Parent of the Year award <laughs> so, <laughs> so far in this story. <laughs> so, where did you get the money from? Was it linked to your dad's credit card? I borrowed money from. Casper, he gave his mom cash that he had, and in exchange for that, he used her credit card. He put money into my poker account, and then I didn't have enough money to pay him back, so I had then sold him the pair of shoes. Tony over here, he's killed about three criminals. He don't like lies, okay? He don't like people fucking lie to us. He will fucking kill you. This pretty boy over here will fucking kill you. You think I'm a mug? You think I'm a candle? I think he's telling the truth. I think he's giving us a true story. You can't go to the judge with this. I think you're right, yeah. I think you're telling the truth, boy. You guys think I did it? Yes. Well, you're right. Woo! And you know what? It was a valuable lesson that I learned at the age of 16. Be careful with gambling, guys. It's a lot of fun. But oh, oh, you can go down the wrong path. Anyway, I'll end up giving your shoes to Casper. Yeah. What is this, man? Take, take that off, boy. Take that off, man. What that? Oh, okay. Looking nervous over there, pretty boy. Do you know what, you know what I reckon that jaw is full of? Lies. <laughs> 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 Two years ago, me and my homeboys went out to Portugal. We stole a cat. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you in this happened? I was about 18. Where did you steal a cat from? On the way down to the beach. And what did you do there? Where did you take it to? Well, we fed it. What color can we fed it? it for? Ginger. What, what would you, what? <laughs> so you fed, what did you feed it with? Like sandwiches. Would you cut its whiskers off too, you sick fuck, huh? <laughs> Why did you take the cat? I thought it was a stray. We let it down to the beach. Did what you name the cat? No. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you've just given us three different answers. We wanted to see if we could get it to the beach. We didn't make it to the beach. What happened? <laughs> Back. Wait, you just said it was a stray. We stray that had owner. was a stray. The owner came down to the beach and took it back. No, he didn't make it to the beach. I just said that. I thought you stole the cat from the beach. It was on a wall. No, we were going to the beach. And you walked past the cat. Yeah, that. we walked past the wall and it was a cat, so we tried to feed it and drag it down to the beach. Right? You dragged it. <laughs> Not drag it, but you know, like guide it. Like, you got halfway to the beach and the owner came. What? Like, were they angry? Did they come like running down? Like, what are you doing? I didn't get halfway, man. You got like, what, how far did you get then? About 20 yards. <laughs> then technically your beginning statement is a complete lie. You did not steal a cat. <laughs> like, you, you, a cat followed you for 20 yards. I, I wanted to go with me. I'm, I'm gonna say he's lying. I think you, it's a true story, but I'm gonna trust him because he's gonna know you better, so. You boys fucked up there, didn't you? It's true. I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> lie. <laughs> that never happened. Oh, that never happened. Oh, yeah. I totally thought, I, I thought that. 
Well, I do declare. Aren't you two the most handsome police officers I've ever seen in my time as a <laughs> criminal or innocent person? We can, uh, we will find out shortly. Are you just wondering which one I'd rather arrest me later? <laughs> if you do arrest me, of course. <laughs> just tell us what you did, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> It's a love letter from one of you boys. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys gotta pick a character. I want it to be this, okay? <laughs> this is all I ever wanted to be. <laughs> when I lived in my first flat in jolly old London, I used to make sure that at least once I would listen to one of my unreleased singles completely naked. Because I believed it would give that song luck when it was finally released. Every unreleased single you, you, you got naked. Every song, song that I knew was going to become a single. Yeah, was it in the shower or was it just sort of naked? Just you don't naked. always know it's going to become a single. When I knew it was going to become a single, you'd listen to it naked. I would listen to it naked before it was released. That but explains why I haven't seen you naked in about three years. That's a good luck shot. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you do it for your last two singles? That well, the last two singles, that... I unfortunately, unfortunately lived with someone else, so it was kind of harder to, to do that, but I'm pretty sure for one of them, I did do it. With the luck, or I'd run out. Are you sure you did? Well, obviously, <laughs> the luck part didn't seem to fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fine because I got a new plan. All three of us are going to do <laughs> Did you sing along naked? What and all my naked glory. How did that become a thing? I had one of my songs playing while I was in the shower. My first single, as we all know, <laughs> went to number two in the UK charts. Now. I remembered the fact that I'd heard it while I was naked in the shower, which then led me to think maybe that was a kind of good luck charm. Superstition. Tone. Became a superstition. So you remember, okay, I hear a lot of songs when I'm in the shower. I couldn't even tell you the song I heard when I was in the shower this morning. But you never heard one of but your own songs, pretty boy who cannot sing. <laughs> before this song came out, you would have heard it hundreds, if not thousands of times before it was released. Why the one instance when you were in the shower naked did that become the superstition? It was the one time I remember hearing it in a different scenario than when I would have usually listened to it. Now that's bullshit. Yeah, that's bullshit. Naked in the shower? Have you ever listened to your own single naked in the shower? Mm. <laughs> better, even better, listen to one of my singles right naked in the shower. <laughs> I think we're in agreement here. Yeah. And if, and if he is telling the truth, then you're really weird. We're gonna say you're lying. I'll reveal myself to y'all. <laughs> I've been a naughty boy. I indeed did lie to you boy. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. I guess we know each other a little bit too well. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And then a good old comment. And then subscribe. And yeah, we'll be back next week with another video. See ya. This was actually the worst I felt throughout the whole the video. My eyes eyes keep like tearing up. It's a conscious effort for me right now to keep my eyes open.